Hello everyone. This is where we're at today. We're on the E46. If you remember the E46, it did the head gasket on. Uh, Retap the studs. Everything is good. Um, came out today. It ran for I don't know how long yesterday. No problems. Drove it. Everything was great. Um, this has been milky because it was obviously all mixed before we fixed it. I noticed a little more milky this morning when I took the cap off. You can see it. It looks pretty questionable. I took a, took a screwdriver and stuck it down in there. It's just right on the very surface. So what we're going to have to do here, we're going to have to make sure we don't have another problem. Uh, so this could easily be from the heater core, a pocket of goo that was still stuck in there. Like I said, it's been a little, little oily through the whole program here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go start it right now, and we're going to make sure this isn't pressurizing, and uh, we'll see maybe if it'll just slowly bubble over and clean out some of that crap, and I could just spray with a garden hose all of it off the tank. Okay, so here it's running. As soon as I started it up, it all just came off and it's green again. So, it's not, it's just barely overflowing, which is what it should be doing. I don't know if I just let it run for a little bit or what. I think I might just let it run. Get away from this if you hear me. I think I might go to Kevin's and grab his big torque wrench. And uh, we might go ahead and, as easy as it is, pull the cowl, pull the valve cover. And uh, go ahead and retorque the head bolts, make sure we're all still good on that. Like I said, there's no bubbles at all. That's what it should do. I overfilled a little bit. And it looks clean once it's down in there. It doesn't, well, you look real close. You can see a little bit of it boiling out, but it's cleaning up. So I don't know, it's one of those deals. Right here at the exhaust, I mean, it's not smoking at all. Your average a little bit of steam because it's cold outside. Um, I don't think we have a problem, but we better go ahead and check it all out just to make 100% sure. Still looking good up here. You can see, guys, how it's barely trickling over. That's what you want. I hit the gas, hit the gas, and it sucks it down, comes back up, and never does any more than that. If nothing's leaking, eventually that'll stop. It'll just sit there at the brim. Uh, you think we'd be seeing a lot of bubbles if we had some kind of leak at the head gasket. Worst case scenario, it pulled the the inserts back out of the block. I've never seen that happen. We took pretty special care to make sure that wasn't going to be the case. And also, I checked this before I started it. You can see on the stick on the oil. There's no water in it at all. I mean, it's perfectly clean. It's good to go. Stick that back in there. So sometimes you have stuff like this you have to deal with. Uh, hopefully it's nothing more uh, than some old junk that was still in the system. Before you can sell a car to anybody, you gotta make damn sure, 100% sure, that it's good to go. Last thing you want is somebody having that problem and they drive it and just totally melt it down. They come back, want their money back. So we're gonna make 100% sure, probably a video tomorrow. Uh, I'll go get a high quality torque wrench and we'll make 100% sure we're good. That's all for today's video, guys. There's also a video on the other channel. Uh, go check it out. I uh, appreciate all your support, guys. Um, don't forget to like the videos, comment, subscribe. Also check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, Nathan's DIY Garage. Thank you.